All right, hello, good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic because today we're gonna talk a little bit about the markets. I wanna talk about the markets for April 2024 and what I kind of see at the current moment, how our markets are performing, what kind of mindset we kind of should have when we are at all time highs in the markets. I wanna talk to you guys about my portfolio, what I currently think, and then as well, what I kind of would like to do and long story short, I do want to be building up some cash, not to currently invest, but just to kind of have on the side because we are reaching all time highs in the market. We're reaching almost $40,000 in the Dow Jones, which is the chart that I have up here, reaching all time highs in the S&P 500 and in the TSX in the Canadian market. So what I want to talk about is all this today. What exactly I'm thinking as we're at all time highs as an investor and a dividend investor. And I want to talk to you guys about some great St performing stocks and some stocks that have underperformed and i have an article to show you as well that all goes around that so i hope you guys do enjoy this video if you guys do we're up to 4255 subscribers just doing our daily little subscriber check here coming at you guys with some daily videos so if you're interested in anything with the market stock investing making money and especially dividends we are a dividend channel that's all we do we want cash flow on this channel if you're interested in that you know what to do subscribe okay all right, so we're talking about the Dow Jones average currently. And right now we are currently sitting at about just under 39,000 or just over 39,000. And you can see here the Dow Jones has hit roughly about 39,700, $39,800. And it's having these pullbacks. They're very small pullbacks. They're nothing crazy, but we are obviously seeing a little bit of kind of not concern, but hesitation in approaching this $40,000 marker for the dow jones and understandably so when we look at the past six months this is all putting it in perspective you can see we've had such a crazy run up here going all the way back from thirty-two thousand all the way up to thirty-nine thousand. that's seven thousand points right there and in a time frame we're looking at about five to six months now when i'm seeing this we are obviously in a great bull run all throughout you know 2021 to 2024 three and entering into 2024 really we were kind of in a, a period of consolidation here we weren't sure where we were going we weren't sure if there was going to be a recession the dow jones dropped all the way down to about twenty eight thousand, and i love using the dow jones because i do view it as like a big it is like the overall market and so this gives me a great indication of what i feel people are thinking at the current moment you can see here that everything went down because of the current recession fears we had a flash crash if i could move this over here in covid and people thought wow like the world was going to end potentially okay i'm not sure if people thought that but that was kind of the sentiment here we went down to 18,000. then the market ro rose very fast one of the fastest market rises in previous history or almost in the recorded history of the dow jones and that got people worried when we fell so fast and we recovered so fast everyone thought okay when is the next crash going to be because that truly wasn't the crash that we were all expecting but then what happened we were at thirty thousand dollars in the dow jones before COVID. then after we rose all the way up to about thirty six thousand and this is where people started to get very hesitant there was a lot of talk about recessions in the major stock market indexes and we slowly got a bit of downward sentiment now as the market went down we could see that at every point people were trying to buy up the market they were looking and waiting everyone had cash because they were waiting for this event to happen they were waiting for an immediate stock market crash and we didn't see that what we've seen is we've seen slow downward pressure but then we also seen a lot of little buying pressure because so many people were holding on to cash and i feel like we're now in a stage where people have moved on from recession fears people are not thinking of recession we are currently at all-time highs and so why are people thinking of a recession they are not but what i do think is important is to remember that markets they trend up and they trend down and over time over time, the market generally will trend upwards. You look at the max price history of the Dow Jones, it has always trended upwards, as you can see. I do believe the stock market will always trend up, and that's why I obviously continue to invest my money in the market. But there are periods where the stock market will go down. And because we've had such a fantastic rally over the past little while, we might start to see a little bit of hesitation about this $40,000 marker, which might push the markets lower. 
because whenever we reach a high like we reached over here back in what was this about 2021 you can see here that the market will reach an all-time high and it will likely have a small pullback this is just due to natural human instinct and hesitation we're going to all-time highs and we're either going to burst through those highs or we are going to hit them be a little bit cautious and pull back so what am I thinking at this current marker? This goes for all major indexes, the S&P 500, the TSX, wherever you invest, this pretty much applies to it all. And obviously I'm not necessarily adverse to the game. I do have a decent amount, not nothing crazy, just a little bit of money in the market currently. I'm definitely looking to add a lot more, but what am I thinking now that we're approaching this $40,000 all time high, the Dow Jones, I'm cautious. I like to think back to the quote that Warren Buffett says. He says, be fearful when others are greedy and greedies and greedy when others are fearful. And the reason that I think this way is just everyone is thinking very optimistic because we're at all time highs. And there's honestly, there's never a bad chance to take profits. I, I don't have too many stocks that are doing super amazing. I have a lot that are down quite a bit because I invest in a lot of high yielding companies, as you guys can see. But one of my ones, it's a lesser high yield company, 8% or so energy transfer. It's up about 35% and it's been doing fantastic over the past little while. It has been moving like the Dow Jones in a straight upward trend. And for the long term, I'm totally cool with holding it. And that's why I'm not currently selling. If I had a bigger position, I might look to trim this position and then buy at a better marker. But obviously, you don't necessarily want to time the markets. What you can do if you're not looking to buy and sell in and out of stocks, which I honestly personally don't think you should. I buy everything to pretty much hold for the long term. I don't look to buy and sell every single month or anything like that. But what I would say is I would look to potentially have some cash at hand when we're at this position. Look, the market's going to do one of two things. It's going to hit this $40,000 marker and it's going to go up or it's going to hit this $40,000 dollar marker and it's going to trend down and whatever happens you want to hope for the best but prepare for the worst and i think that the best case scenario is we hit this forty thousand dollar marker and the stock market continues to rise up past forty thousand dollars and we see good appreciation in the market the worst thing that happens is that we hit forty thousand dollars roughly and then the market trends down well you know what that's not a bad thing it might trend down to thirty five thousand might trend back down to thirty two thousand my current opinion is I think it would trend down to 35,000 and that would get people noticing and buying once again. But what I would say is I would say to start to collect some cash on the side. I'm currently collecting a lot of cash on the side to potentially reinvest in some new Canadian stocks. I just opened up a new TFSA and I have 20 new holdings, which I will disclose to you guys in a future video. So that is why it's important to stay subscribed. But what I do want to say is when markets are at all time high, People have high spirits and everyone is optimistic. But one thing to think about is we make money when we buy. And of course, you make money when you sell, but mainly when you buy. And it, I think it's a good idea to start holding some cash, start generating some cash. So if the market does fall, which it eventually will fall down, what goes up will come down and then you guys can take advantage of some amazing opportunities. So this was just a little video. I wanted to just kind of make this video as we're approaching all time highs in the market because I love all time high markets. Who doesn't? It's fun to be making money. It's fun when the times are rolling and everything's good and going your way. You're making money. Your stocks are going up. But it's important to also remember that we need to be holding cash at market highs because eventually stocks will trend down and when they do trend down from all-time highs they tend to trend down pretty fast that is what i would say generally when we're in these in-between periods the markets kind of trend a bit slower but when markets are are at all-time highs we see high and fast movements to the upside and we also see decently fast movements to the downside so it's definitely good to prepare for the worst and keep cash at hand so i hope you guys did enjoy this video and uh you know we could have talked about this article this was really just an article that was kind of highlighting the best and the worst performing stocks within the dow jones and the s p 500 the best ones being nvda and video with a 2.2 trillion dollar market cap almost a 900 dollars share price and it has absolutely exploded over the past year going up about two to three hundred percent or so and then it talked about the worst performing stock which you know what you can never get away from tesla uh, or tsoy because tesla was in fact the worst performing stock in the s p 500 for the first quarter of 2024 with as you could see it trending down about yeah that's pretty much a straight downtrend 
from the start of 2024 from Tesla. We're looking at probably like a negative 40% return from Tesla, but that's okay because we prepare for the worst and pray for the best. So what we'll do is we'll continue to invest. We'll continue to put our money where we think it will have the most impact and the best impact. And we'll keep these We'll keep all the kind of negative things in mind and negative scenarios in mind so that we can be good investors and we could potentially profit from things that other people might not see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you kind of some clarity on where other people, we have a lot of people in our subscriber basis. So please do remember to comment and let us know what are you guys thinking about the current market kind of sentiment and what are you guys feeling now that we're reaching all time highs because it's great to get others opinions all we're doing is we're trading stocks with other people all day long. And so it's great to know what other people are thinking in terms of where we're at currently in the market. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys do take care and I hope you guys do subscribe up to 4,255 subscribers. So do that if you guys did enjoy. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope this served you well, provided you with some value. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Please do take care.